guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I customized set number 75311 in the Imperial Marauder. This set comes with three minifigures, or sorry, four minifigures, three stormtroopers, one being a special new mortar trooper. The set also comes with three Karga from the Mandalorian, and yeah, personally I think it's a really good set. Um, from what I've heard, it's a really good per, per piece. Uh, sort of set so if you're into that kind of thing I definitely recommend this set and also if you're into collecting stormtroopers then I'd also recommend buying the set but on to the customization um, starting off uh, I left I left actually a lot of it you can see these doors right here they still open the same way as they came but I customized the front of them you can see I also still left the front of it it's still open on those sides not that I'd recommend opening those if you're planning on using this in some sort of mock uh, put because to just kind of affects the look but what I really like about it is especially is this turret that I made I ended up uh, using a couple really cool techniques but and actually a lot of the things I used in this customization I took from one place and put another place for example these like round pieces you see these uh, were actually somewhere else I can't even remember now but they were somewhere else on the build and I took them off and added them here and I also have these little like kind of timer things up here and this little like red can like or sort of thing I felt like that looked pretty nice on there and then um I actually thought this look turned out really well especially the technique I used for the front can you can see here I uh, used kind of like a lampshade piece with these two kind of like wide at the end cannons. See, I got like um, sort of like a Technic system mixed between right there. And then in the middle is a um, uh, dark bluish gray lamp piece. And then on the other side is the same thing, but without that one by one, uh, one by one plate. So I think that design turned out pretty well. I used a lot of cheese slopes that didn't come with the set, unfortunately. But I did use a lot of cheese slopes in constructing this because, you know, cheese slopes just look great on a lot of things because they're the best. But you can see the cannon design in it here. Just the, some Technic pins and stuff like that. And then um, I actually thought this ended up, you can see how I attached it, but I actually thought this ended up looking a lot like a flamethrower. More on that later in, on in the video, but since with all the timers and like that red canister. And right here you can see you can see the technique I used right there. The cheese slopes going up into the grills. And let me show you. I just put them one up with the one by two, which I thought turned out pretty well. And then the the snot brick right there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the can. I think that's one of my favorite parts I added to it. Just looking back here. And then the part that attaches it to is actually really finicky, which is annoying. But I took out the seat and replaced it with that to make it stronger. And the set actually came with a feature that made it so that it could um it could only turn uh in the back. And I fixed that because I didn't really understand maybe why they did that. Maybe it was like more accurate to the show, but I wanted more uh more movement, more uh ability to move it so that I could like get it in more dynamic positions. You can also see this door still opens, but I kind of tiled it off a bit, and I'm probably not going to open that anytime soon because it's kind of ugly in there because I need some extra support. But otherwise, I think the cannon turned out really well. I didn't, you can see I didn't customize this bit that much. It's pretty much the same except for the bottom right here. I added these two little pieces on, and I used uh, two one by 2 slopes, slope bricks, but you, you probably, if you have them uh, on hand you probably want to use the uh, two by two and because those just look a little bit cleaner unless you like this look and then I just put a light bluish gray tree slope on the top to keep them together and just to smooth it off I did the same thing on the other side then moving on to the top part of it which um, I think I uh, changed the most which is I took off the little flap that you could open I actually took both of them off See, let me see if I don't think I can get it off right now, but that's actually a good sign, so it doesn't doesn't come off. But um, it was a pretty basic design. I, I really just covered it up with 
a um, a big plate where the space of everything I took off is covered up with a big plate. Then I put some um, some uh, one by long one by plates and then uh, put the slope over. And you can see this little grill I put there, smooth off the end. That's actually important because I put this little um, flap at the back of the cannon so that now that can't move without that space being open. And then I also put these two little spikes at the front and a little opening door that doesn't really open up to anything. And then over here, obviously, I took up stud shooters because I don't know if anyone building mocks is using stud shooters that much. So I just really took it off and then placed it with this um, one by two slope and this little uh, bracket piece. And then up front, I put this little Technic tube with a pin at the end. So I think it turned out pretty well with like there was enough like cannons that I could also attach specs to them. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna put this in a mock. I think I actually will because this actually turned out a lot better than I thought. Um and then also you can see over here I didn't really customize that area that much, but I did customize this door and the bottom piece used to have a one by four tile in dark blue gray, but I replaced it with a bigger one because it looked a bit cleaner. And then this top bit, I just did, you can see pretty much the pieces I did. Two cheese slopes on the edge of that third bit, just to make it look better. Same thing on the other side. And I'm glad I made these so that they still open, because um, that means it, that you can make some of this come out of it, which I thought was in the future. And you can see still open, as you can see, so you can put the plates in there. I didn't really, I, I kind of wanted to change that, but there wasn't really a point, because the, it's nice storage and reliability for this feature, and it actually already looks pretty good, in my opinion. So I didn't change that bit that much. Moving on from the build, because that's pretty much it. That's all the customizations. I got the figures. I obviously kept these two stormtroopers the same, because I think they look pretty good how they are. But then I thought the mortar trooper uh, could use some upgrades, because I actually really like how this trooper looks. But, um, I just had some things lying around to make them better. And I didn't really like the mortar design. I'll probably make an improved mortar. You can see here I gave him the Clone Army Customs, a uh, Clone Army Customs custom backpack. And then, uh, he still has everything else the same. I just gave him a little mini gun instead of the mortar because I thought it looked a bit, bit nicer. But I'll probably make, in the future, make a custom mortar. Because he is, of course, the mortar trooper. And, uh, that's pretty much it for the figures. Hello, thanks to you for sticking around for the end of the video, and since you did that, I'm going to show you just a couple personal, like, effects tips just to make it look cooler. So, first of all, I thought my cannon actually looked a lot like a flamethrower, so I put this kind of, like, plume of fire coming out of the cannon, um, which I think aw looks awesome, even though it's not really accurate. I just think it looked pretty cool if you want to add that. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of techniques online how to put that, that fire. And also, I, I just got one of these little effects pieces for the cannons, which I think makes it look a lot cooler. And with the fire and the cannon like that all splayed out, I think it looks pretty action-y. It's pretty good. But it can get better. You can't use a regular Stormtrooper, obviously. You can't use that. you got to use um, the Mortar Trooper with his minigun. And then you got a pretty nice looking, um, pretty nice looking set for forty dollars. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys later.